Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear happy engineers, wherever you are, when I want to discuss about the Furlins designs as a part of steel structures analysis issue in civil engineering workshops on August 2021. Let's enjoy this. The issue in the Furlin designs, there are structures analysis structure modeling and design and analysis of the pure and the science according into American Institutional Constructions 20 and 16 chapter F. The pure member had been analyzed by the simplest supported beam where the edge of the beam had been constrained by the pin supported and the other had been constrained by the row supported. Now we're gonna look what the definitions of the beam structure. The beam structure had been divided as a member that was subjected by the load that was carried on on the beam in perpendicular way of the neutral axis of the beam. Because of that, we had two types of loads. There are the shear force and the bending moment force. Okay? When the bending moment maximum, then the shear force was minimum now we're gonna back with the purines discussions okay as long as we know that the purines have been located on the top member of the steel structure system okay the purines connected the one of Truss structure system to the other truss structure system. The length of the purlins had been had been defined as the distance of the truss structures. Okay, because of the inclined positions of the purlins, we had to type load factors that was carried on on the purlins member. There are PY and PX. Now we want to discuss about the loading analysis that was performed in the Purlins member. At least we had the type of load cases that was considered in the Purlins member design. They are the dead load cases and the leave load cases. The dead load had been defined as a steel profile self width that you can find them from the IEC steel profiles tables or another steel profiles tables. Okay, and the leaf load had been defined as the human load that was carried on at the mid span of the pure lens member. Okay, now we get two actions from two types of the loads. They are the dead load that was carried on on the member as the uniform load and the leaf load that was carried on the purance member as the concentrated load. Now we want to discuss about the loading analysis that was performed in the purance member. At least we had the type of load cases that was considered in the Purins member design. Then we had the loading combinations that was considered in the Purins member design. As long as we know that the Purins member design criteria, we had the allowable strength design and the load resistance factor designs. For the allowable strength designs, we had the actual bending moment was equal for the bending moment that was caused by dead load plus the bending moment that was caused by the leaf load. And for the load resistance factor design, we had the ultimate bending moment was equal 1.2 the bending moment that was caused by dead load plus 1.6 the bending moment that was caused by the leaf load. Of course, the bending moment that was considered in this case was the maximum bending moment for the leaf load or the concentrated load we had the maximum bending moment was pl per 4 okay where p was the concentrated load and the l was the length of the purulence member 
and for the maximum bending moment of the dead load was T L square per inch. Okay, where T was the uniform load of the surface and L is the length of the pure lens. The basic design criteria for pure lens member designs that the nominal bending moment should be larger than the actual or limit bending moment that was occurred on the pure lens member. Of course, the nominal bending moment should be reduced by some factor that was accorded into the design criteria. If you use the allowable strength design criteria, then you should divide the nominal bending moment by omega, that omega was 1.67. When you use the load resistance factor design, then you should multiply the nominal bending moment by the theta, that theta was 0.9. We have three criteria for purely member designs that was accorded into American Institute of Steel Construction 2016. First, a yielding criteria. In the yielding criteria, the nominal moment was defined 1.5 then the yielding moment where the yielding moment was the yielding stress of the steel multiplied by zx what is zx a zx is the modulus of a sections you can find them in a table a steel profile table according maybe a uh, steel profile table of american steel constructions dean uh, british standards or anything else after checking the nominal bending moment by considering the yielding moment for the single leg steel profile you should check the lateral torsional buckling we have to considerations there are when the ratio of the yielding moment on the elastic torsional packing moment less than one and when the ratio of the yielding moment on the elastic torsional packing moment larger than one in the ic 20 and 16 we have two criteria for the lateral torsional packing first for bending about the major principal axis of a single angle and the second for the bending about the one of the geometric axis of an equal leg angle with no actual compressions that will consist with no lateral torsion restraint with the maximum tension of at the two and with the lateral torsion restraint at the point of a maximum moment only still in lateral torsional buckling in the term one with the no lateral torsional restraints the elastic torsional buckling moment can be calculated by the equation f10 5a then in the second condition with the maximum tension at the two that the elastic torsional buckling moment can be calculated by equations f10 5b this is an, a little note with a lateral torsional restraint at the point of maximum moment only the elastic torsional buckling moment should be takes at 1.25 times yeah, then yielding moment computed using equations F10 5A or F10 5B. For additional notes in lateral torsional buckling considerations, the nominal bending moment MN may be taken as the yielding moment MY for single angles with their vertical leg 2 in the compressions and having a span to depth ratio less than or equal to equation F10. 5c 
where E was the elasticity modulus, Fy was the yielding stress, T was the the steel profile thickness, and B the width of the leg of steel profile. The last design criteria for fueling member designs particularly the single leg steel profile we have the leg local buckling considerations that was consists a for compact sections the limit state of the leg local buckling doesn't apply b for section with non-compact leg that the nominal bending moment mn had been calculated by equation f106 and c for sections with the slender legs that the nominal bending moment had been calculated by equations F107. So, for the fueling design member, you should choose the smallest. The smallest nominal bending moment can be selected as the nominal bending moment design for purlins. For comfortability reasons, the deflection should be considered in the purlin member designs. Here we have the kinds of the deflections. The deflections that was caused by the uniform load and the deflections that was caused by the concentrated load. In the case of the purlin member designs, we have two kinds of the deflections. There are the deflections in X axis or in out of plane and the deflections in Y axis. For the designs, we have to find out the, the deflection resistance that can be calculated by the formula as shown as in figure. And of course, the deflection resistance not larger than the allowable deflections L per 240 in millimeters units. There are some references can be used maybe for strengthening your understanding in tension member designs with the specification for structural steel buildings American Institute Steel Constructions 20 M16 the minimum design notes for buildings and other structures by American Society Civil Engineering and uh, the Mr. Seger's book still design in the fifth editions. Finally, thank you very much for supporting the Nepal Project Channel. We would like to serve you in structure analysis tutorial, finite element analysis tutorial, research partnerships, training and development in engineering paper, thesis, dissertation, design analysis, and forensic engineering consulting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and share. Thank you very much. See you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.